through the through your through your works. Just through the drink and the power of the Most High. That's blessed me. To just be the, mm -hmm. the, I'm the, I'm the carrier of it. So I'm just the vehicle bringing it to the people. You're the vessel. So, okay. Be, Before we go to the comments, which we're going to do in a moment, um, let me touch let on me the last. The diabetes. Sorry, go ahead. My bad. Go ahead. For the diabetes mm -hmm. and um, the joint issues. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I find the pancreas. It's straight to the pancreas. Mm -hmm. The pancreas. Is what produces the insulin and everything mm -hmm. yeah let's keep the pancreas clean we find out with the dead foods that we're eating these foods that have no life in it low vibrational there you go after the digestive system it doesn't just stops there once it takes the nutrients into the bloodstream as liquid molecules then you got the small intestine large intestine that's the colon area these are they're, they're, they're back there's bacteria living down there that wants to live as well they I have to know. perform their function and their function, because just like the cells of the body, we're losing cells, we're losing hundreds of cells right now as, as we speak during this interview, dying and coming back to their original form. The colon, the bacteria in the colon, they die, they go through the RNA process, and they come back to their original self as well. They need the right things. The right things that they need is the stuff from the life food. Mm -hmm. And fiber, fiber is one of the main components that the colon bacteria needs fiber mm -hmm. is light food. Mm -hmm. Anything going from the earth and sunlight. So then when it comes, when it dies and it's coming back to its original um, self, using protein, then it comes back fine. Mm -hmm. It's when there is fiber, it's when there is no life in there. Then the buildup of protein, too much protein, then becomes acidic mm -hmm. in the colon. Mm -hmm. And then you'll get stuff like you'll get stuff like damaged colon like that. Okay. That's a healthy cola. Uh -huh. These cola, what doctors are doing now, they're cutting pieces out from like there and here and they're patching it back together and stuff like that. This is what's happening with our cola right now. So the, the live food uh -huh. foods is what the cola needs. So this and one of the one of the one of the other things as far as with the pancreas certain foods are blocking the pancreas from producing the insulin. Absolutely. So absolutely. It's about clearing the mucus out of those areas on a cellular level. Mm -hmm. And everything starts operating. What's, your, the thoughts, what's your thoughts on, because, um, you know, we, we, we're we learning a lot more about the mucus being, as Dr. Sebi would say, what you just um, said, the, the mucus being the main issue. But on the flip side, you also get, you know, very educated practitioners like yourself who say, actually, we need some of that mucus, you, you know, that, that has its benefits. So it's, it's almost like sometimes I feel like, especially, you know, us newbies for the last, you know, how many years I still see myself as very much a newbie on the path of herbs and, and all that kind of stuff and incorporating that as a lifestyle, not only when you are sick. Sometimes, you know, you hear that this is bad, you hear that this is bad, you know, you're, you're, you're ingesting the wrong... Vitamins. Yeah. I'm not sure what she was relating to. Sometimes it happens as we go past and the moment when comments come, it's like reconnecting what you were relating to. But the reason why I don't look at comments every moment, unless I'm having a general chit-chat with Sylvan and I'm all involved, yeah. is because it becomes yeah. disruptive as well, as opposed to the flow. Um, the mm -hmm. That's the mucus build-up. So what, how I explain it to people with the, with the eyes... When we sleep, every night when we sleep, there's repairing enzymes in the blood that pushes all the oil, the grease, the toxins up to the brain. Uh -huh. It comes to what we call the um, nasal pathway that leads from the brain uh -huh. past the eyes to the nose, the back of the throat. And we're supposed to be sneezing out. That's what we sneeze out in the morning called kata. Yes, yes, that's kata. right. Uh -huh. A lot of it's not coming out. Some of it's staying on the brain. Okay. This is why you find the elders over a period of time start developing, up, developing the Alzheimer's, the dementia, the Parkinson's. The mucous membrane again comes into play, holds it there because it's been there. They don't want it spread anywhere. It's not coming out the nasal pathway. And then that starts interfering with the neurons and the electrons. Uh -huh. They speak, taking the eye product, sprayed it in their eye, dripped it in their eyes, and they realized they had sinus problems, and they realized the sinus is clear.